Hi, my name is Mark and in the last video I showed you how to create proxies in Premiere Pro. In this video I'm going to show you how to create ingest presets for creating proxies. But why would you even want that? Let's find out. So how do you actually create a custom preset? First you have to open Media Encoder. Then go to the preset browser down here. If you don't see it, go to window, preset browser, or you can hit control four to toggle it on or off. In the top left corner of the preset browser, you can see this little plus icon. Click on it and select create encoding preset and the preset settings will open up. We leave the name blank for now, but we will set it at the end. As the format, I select QuickTime Based on preset, I select GoPro Cineform YUV 10-bit. It doesn't really matter what preset you select here as you can customize all the parameters. But as I want to use Cineform as the codec for my proxies, this preset will save me a little time. We want to export video and audio. And then we go under the video tab right here, select GoPro Cineform as the codec, as I mentioned before, and drop our quality down to one. This is because we're just creating proxies and we just need to see what is going on and don't need good quality. This will also result in a smaller file size, so we don't need as much hard drive space to store the proxies. Now we can set the resolution that we want for the proxies. In my case, I filmed with my phone in portrait mode and the aspect ratio was nine by 16. So I go ahead and click this little checkbox here, make sure the dimensions are unlinked and then I Type in 720 for the width and 1280 for the height. I leave the frame rate, the field order and the aspect as based on source. But if you want to put in specific values here, you can, of course. We don't need to render at maximum depth because we're just creating proxies. And if your footage has an alpha channel, you can select it here. If you scroll all the way down, you can also select if your video is VR or not. Before we click OK, we can go up to the Effects tab and scroll down to Image Overlay. Here we can select an image file that will be baked into the proxy so we can tell if we are working with the proxy or not. If you want, you can also choose a position for the image. The last step is to name your preset. I choose the names based on the settings inside the preset. So I call this one 720x1280, Q1. Q standing for quality, Cineform, because Cineform is our codec, and watermarked, because we have an image overlay that tells us if we use proxy or not. Then we can hit OK. When you look into the preset browser here on the left, you can see your new preset under presets and groups. Now there's one more step we have to take. The preset we just created is an encoding preset that is only relevant inside of Media Encoder but Premiere cannot use encoding presets for ingest operations. So we have to create a dedicated ingest preset. Just click the little plus icon in the top left again, and instead of creating encoding preset, we create an ingest preset. And the ingest preset settings dialog will pop up. First, we need to name the preset. I will choose the same name as the encoding preset because our ingest preset will refer to our encoding preset. So name it 720 by 1280 Q1 Cineform watermarked and then I will add ingest to the end so we can differentiate between the ingest preset and the encoding preset later on. Then you can come down here and select transcode files to destination. As the destination I just choose my desktop the location you choose here does not matter at all because you can always change it in the Create Proxies dialog in Premiere later on. But you have to choose a default location for it to work. Leave the format on QuickTime and under Preset we now select our newly created encoding preset. It should be right on the top. That's it, click OK and you will see that your new ingest preset also appears in the preset browser. To actually use this preset in Premiere we need to know where it is stored. So right click the preset and select reveal preset file. An explorer window will open up and show you where the preset files live on your hard drive. 
You can now either remember the path that is shown up here, or you can click in the address bar and copy the whole path. Now we can close this window and jump into Premiere. And here I have the video I took with my phone. Now we can right click on your clip, select proxy, create proxies, and the create proxies dialog will pop up. Select QuickTime as your format. And when you hit add ingest preset, another explorer window will pop up. In my case, it's already the right location, but if it's a different location in your case, you can just click on the address bar and paste the path you just copied and will take you to the right location. Now you can choose the ingest preset. That's why we named it differently. Double click it. It says a preset with the name already exists. That's just in my case, because I did a tutorial to test it before the recording. I just hit yes. And now we can see our new preset selected under preset. Now we only have to choose a destination where our proxy files should go. I choose to have mine next to the original media and click OK. It's creating the proxy jobs and rendering in media encoder and it's already finished. And now when we go into timeline and toggle proxies on and off, we can see now we're using the proxies. Here's our little watermark that, you've, that we selected. And if we zoom into 100% here, we can also see a little difference in the quality. So this is how you create proxy slash ingest presets in Premiere Pro. Stay tuned for the next videos in this little series on how to work with proxies. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like or subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.